got a McDonnell Douglas uh, Phantom 2. This is one of the Desert Storm jets, and you always hear about the nose art on the on the World War II bombers and, and fighter planes. But uh, here we've got some nose art on one of my on a Desert Storm jet. But, uh, I thought it was pretty entertaining. Uh, these guys would actually uh, seek out the Scuds uh, missiles. And uh, it was a two-plane deal. That one would seek them out, and that one over there would uh, shoot them down or blow them up. And uh, yeah, and each one of these camels is—I uh, assume it's five kills. I can't tell you if it's five tanks or what, but uh, I thought that was pretty good. Lockheed 103 and uh, Spectre. This is, uh, I assume, what you would call a gunship. Uh, it's got guns everywhere on it. You can uh, see a little bit of the art on the side, nose art, which is uh, great. And uh, we've got some camels for the Desert Storm. And then we also have a crab. This was used again uh, later on. I believe in one of the uh, islands they had some problems with it. You can see all the guns. Uh, those look like 50 cows coming out the side. 919 or yeah, the 919 Special Operations Wing. And then you go down a little bit farther. And uh, looks like maybe uh, 30 caliber machine guns hanging out the side. And we don't want to forget, we've got uh, this monstrous, monstrous, there you go, a little information, 100 millimeter cannon. And uh, there you can kind of see it inside this big, big plane. And they hang out the backside. And uh, that would probably, uh, there we go, there's one of the rounds. For these two more. 1002, 1003. I just put a bullet in every square foot of a football field with that gun. Okay? Yes. That's why a lot of people don't like our guns, right? So we have the options to put some cannons in here. So these on the Mac are 40 millimeter. But if you come up and get a little closer look, this is a 105. The 105 is mounted there. We would replace the two there, it'd be just one sticking out the back end of it. And when the 105 fires, all right, the plane moves sideways. Okay? <laughs> There's a lot of other stories I could share about this one, but it's been a very su successful concept for what we're trying to do here. It's at the tail end of the plane. So, kind of gives you an idea of all the firepower on this monster. But, very intimidating. Uh, I'd hate to see this flying at me. It would uh, definitely. Uh, have a tendency to uh, scare the enemy. I have a Desert Storm uh, A-10 Thunderbolt. And this thing is a monster. These are known for firepower, weaponry. This side doesn't really show it very well, but I did want to get up so we could see the squadron. This is the 353 fighting squadron. And uh, this is at the Dayton Air Force Museum. It shows you all the armaments. Here's the big gun. These are uh, 30 millimeter rounds. 
they are huge, bigger than an inch. Here you can see those rounds in that gun. So you can see how far back in the plane that gun goes. And then all the other armaments, conventional missiles, smart bombs, radar jamming devices, just, it's like the Swiss army knife of weaponry for uh, the Air Force. And then, of course, those guns need reloaded. And this machine right here must be the one that does uh, the ammunition loading. Pretty impressive. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.